Hey there ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Love Life Vape. Now today, it's not build, it's not tutorial, but it is a review. It's a juice review. Now I've got three juices here that I want to review for you, and I'll tell you what they're all about, give you a bit of a description about the flavours and everything else, how they vape, taste, production, all that kind of stuff. Um, so I'm going to start off with uh, this one, which is the Lost Fog. It's the Neon Cream, so Lost, Lost Fog Collection Neon Cream, this is 0.3 milligrams, 30 ml bottle. Now all of these juices, first of all before I crack on with that, all of these juices came from Mad Cow Vaping in Raynham. I totally recommend that you guys get yourselves down there, and if you don't get yourselves down there, get yourselves online at www.madcowvaping.com and you can find all your vaping equipment on there, and they're good prices, great quality, everything is spick and span. So, <laughs> now I've given a shout out, I'll crack on with the uh, review. So yes, the Lost Fog Collection, Neon Cream, this is the first one I want to test out for you. Uh, also, this is the coil I'm going to be using, it's quite standard. I know you might not be able to see it, I'll put a quick close up in here for you right now. So now you've seen what I've uh, built in this. It's basically a 26 gauge strand with a 0.8 ribbon wire wrapped around it once and then I wrapped around it again. So it's clapped into twice if that makes sense. I'm sure you understand what I mean by that. So yes, the Lost Fog Neon Cream. I've uh, dripped a little bit in here already but it's literally in the last dregs so I'm ready to go for this. Now the description I've got here for this is basically uh, just lost lost for collection blended whip, whipped honey cream, sweet honeysuckle, and a tart berries. It's in 70 VG, 0.3 milligrams of nicotine. Now I'm just going to show you the vapor production, and I'm going to just try and describe the flavor as best as I can using my own natural palate. I guess it's not that. I mean, you can get a bit of honey, and it is creamy but not like you know whipped cream as such um it's kind of difficult to describe i have to have another go it's very sweet um i'd have to definitely say that it's it's nice if you like sweet vapes this is basically like it's, it's just like a sweet shop flavor i guess the smell is very nice i guess you can really kind of smell the honeysuckle in this, but other than that, uh, it's basically 15 quid from Macau Vapes vaping shop. So go there and get it because it's really nice. And I've got a lot more on there as well for the Lost Hog collection. Other than that, I can't really, ugh, it's hard to describe, but it's so it's, it's, it's just nice and it's, it's, it's almost fruity as well. Is another way I could describe it. I can't quite pinpoint well, honeysuckle is fruit, isn't it? Of course, <laughs> there's the fruity side of it. So yeah, it, it's kind of got like a dense feeling, like it's that kind of creamy in a way. It's really smooth on the throat. 0.3 nicotine once again, so it's really easy on the throat as well. Uh, I totally recommend buying it. I, I literally I got this, and four days later it was gone. I caned it because it was lovely, absolutely lovely. So I guess I move on to my second one, which would be the 12 Monkeys I've got here. This is the 12 Monkeys Tropica. Now, by the name, I'm sure you can guess what kind of flavours it's going to be. My description here I've got is a punchy exotic fruits, uh, primarily tropical fruit mix. Okay, so that brace it much explains it. I'll just make sure that... So I've saved a little bit just so I can do this review for you guys. You can smell that pineapple. Definitely can smell pineapple in there. Um, yeah, it's quite. Yeah, it's just tropical. You can almost you can almost get pina colada out of this. Um, I'd go as far as saying. Once again, really smooth. Absolutely love it. Now, once again, 3 point, 0 0.3 milligrams of nicotine, or 3 milligrams of nicotine, whatever you want to call it. Now, I don't exactly know the blend of this. I'm pretty sure it is like a 70-30 jobby again on the VG. 
Uh, made in Canada. Which is always good. Oh no, this is 90% VG. I know you probably can't see this because it's very small, but it says 90 VG on here. So it's quite a thick, thick fluid. It's very good for dripping. Absolutely amazing for dripping. But it is. It's very tropical. You kind of get a hint of... Uh, it's definitely pineapple-y. It's the only way I can really describe it. I feel like sitting on a beach, sipping like pineapple juice out of a coconut. Pretty much. It's that kind of flavour. Really, really, really nice. And of course, like I say, like 12, 12 monkeys. Now they do, once again, quite a large selection of this stuff. Lots of different flavours. Uh, other than that, Right, I'm going to go on to the next one, so I've got to clear this out again. If you do get yourselves down to Mad Cow Vaping Shop in Raynham, they will let you try it. They will, if you've got a dripper, they will let you drip. They've got tester bottles in there for you to drip into and have a little taste. They let me have a go, you know, to make my decisions on what I'd like to vape. And this is one a one I chose. I've picked two twelve monkeys oil. There's my other one. I'll do that in a second. The tropic is very nice if you like your fruity flavours. It is carabini, 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 carabini. <laughs> if you like. So my third and final is going to be also from Twelve Monkeys. This is called Manga Bays. Once again, this is three milligrams of nicotine, thirty mils. This. Is also made in Canada and this is 80% VG. Now, the description I've got for this is a delightful blend of guava, pineapple, and tasty mango. Okay, so let me drip this for you guys. Once again, the. the get some in here somehow. It is the last drink. This one's really nice. In fact, I've got it in here, I've transferred it into a squeezy bottle because I prefer squeezing when I'm dripping. So I'm just going to squeeze this into there. It's a little bit easier for me to do that and I can have a nice good old vape on that too. Just make sure I screw this up, don't want to spill it. It comes with a really nice cap, this one. The others have sometimes got it, this one didn't. But basically it's like a non-drip thing, I don't know what it is, it's quite cool. Like, I don't know if it's like a... I don't know what it is, but it's, it's kind of cool. Stops it from dripping everywhere, it's quite nice. So, I'm going to have a go on this. Describe the flavours for you. Now, to me, it really tastes passion fruity. Very passion fruity indeed. It's, it's not quite... Like, picking out the flavours, like, all three of the exact flavours out of this is is difficult to get out. But the mixture, the blend, is 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 basically passion fruit. It reminds me of this uh, body shop stuff. What, what was it? Passion fruit. Based back, back, passion fruit lip gloss from Body Shop, <laughs> and it it tastes and smells exactly like that does. So, if you're into your passion fruit, I definitely recommend getting the Twelve Monkeys Mango Base because it's very nice. And yeah, it's it's fruity. This is even more fruity than Tropica. It's very nice. If there's one thing I can say, um, I'm going to go back to Lost Fog. This is quite sherbet in flavour as well. Um, there's, there's, there's something that I've just kind of picked out, even though I'm not vaping it right now. But it is quite sherbet -y. It's very sweet. It's sweety like. The Tropica is good. It is 3 milligrams of nicotine. They're all 3 milligrams of nicotine. But it seems with the 12 Monkeys range. It's kind of a little bit stronger than you'd expect. Like, no, I don't know how they blend it all together, but it's, it's you can tell that there's nicotine in there, which is kind of nice. It's not too bad. But compared to the Lost Fog, it's the Lost Fog is smooth, smooth as anything, whereas the Twelve Monkeys blends are quite nicotiny, which ain't too bad. I don't mind, but the flavour is quite punchy. It does, it hit hard and it's very nice indeed. So, I can't really go on much else to say about that. You've heard the descriptions of what their flavours are. You've heard what I think of them. And I think they're absolutely stunning. I think they're well worth the purchase. 
at 15 quid for 30 meals basically from my car vaping store in Raynham. So definitely get yourself down there and talk to a guy called Sam. There's another fella in as well, can't quite remember his name. Ben, is that right? Yeah, Ben. Talk to him as well if they're in there. And uh, say that I recommended you. If you like, it's cool. And who knows? Might get a little discount. But yeah, um, I know I'm not quite informative. I've done my best on how to describe these flavour wise. And uh, I hope it's been insightful. And on that note, I think I'll leave you to it. Goodbye.